project is the Android Portrait Project, and I'm doing both a drawing series and a VR uh, experience at the same time. I meet with Androids around the world, and I interview them. Uh, this, I've been working on this for about five years now, and these are all social robots that are learning computational compassion, uh, which broadly means that they're learning what, how humans think and feel and re responding accordingly. This is Han in Hong Kong, Vina 48, Vermont, uh, Ishiguro, uh, uh, the robot double ganger of the scientists who created them, Kam Yu and uh, Sophia. I've met with all these uh, robots and have uh, discussed how to regular conversation with them. I, here's a picture of one with Erica. This is at uh, Hiroshi Ishiguro's lab in uh, Kyoto, and like an itinerant portrait artist, I, I talk to them, and I, uh, like in the past, you know, the, the art, artists would go on site and draw their portraits, and I draw them in a traditional manner. You can see outside, Aunt Conti in on paper, and uh, portraiture was reserved previously just for human beings, so by making these, I kind of, they become metaphors for the, the issues that are arisen by the creation of the android robots and kind of also question the uniqueness of human beings in my mind. <laughs> uh, during my visits, I also uh, speak with the roboticists themselves. Again, it, Professor Shigoro. I've also met with uh, David Hansen of Hansen Robotics but they agree in two things with uh, social robots, that um, they should, in order to be integrated into the society, they should master what the humans think and feel and act accordingly, and the training of the AI should be both ethical and without bias. So uh, this is um, as a result of those discussions and my interest in VR. I conceived of the, Air, the Android Portrait Project VR project, uh, and that's going to be based on my actual experiences with the uh, androids. Uh, Bina 48 will be my, uh, the, the android that you meet, and this is kind of a quote from one of our conversations to inspire me. And you enter the space and have an intimate dialogue with uh, Bina 48. I've had several uh, meetings with Bina as well, and uh, we um, I've developed a relationship with the, uh, the developers and the scientists in their group. Uh, like I said, I met with David Hansen and also with the Terrorism Foundation people who uh, created Bina 48. The, um, I'll collaborate with the Bina scientists and develop an experience that streams Bina's AI directly from uh, her, her source uh, to a VR, a uh, web VR. And the data will control both Bina's responses to the participant and also the facial expressions. This is, um, it'll, she'll evolve with each conversation. The medium of VR is important because the meaning of the work is always inherent in my, in my how I use the, uh, the materials are always important to the idea and this might have the potential to de democratize access to training and include a more diverse and, and inclusive audience. And when this was her uh, point cloud, and uh, that will be enhanced with uh, audio, ambient audio, interactive elements, and memory videos, and playing clips of Bina's life. This is my team, who without which none of this would happen, and I just wanted to make sure that they were acknowledged and uh, uh, they're, they're unbelievably incredible people. I'll let you read the details, but uh, I think my time is up.